Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to my channel. This is Psyche Gay Boy here at your service, making the universe a better place with positive karmic energy. Let's go. That's just my whole dig and spiel on my YouTube like content. So look at this picture right now and don't be a Karen and judge how I make my videos and subscribe if you are interested in my uh, personality and my channel. So that being said, I also study like human psychology and stuff like that. That's why my username is called Psyche Gay Boy. So again, subscribe if you believe in me or if you dig my personality. So that being said, and not just fucking run. Um, and yes, I like to swear a lot. It, it is what it is. I'm really super gay and super sassy. It is what it is. So um, this video, I'm going to be talking about Mr. Beast really fast because he literally just created a video five hours ago. And I would have watched it earlier, but I was like sleeping. So I woke up, checked my YouTube subscription list, saw that it came out four hours ago and I watched it right away. And the title is what everybody has been talking about like the past year. Because before I even started making videos of Mr. Beast, and you can go on my YouTube channel and see that, like, I made videos about him, and I explained very well that I was never, like, a fan of his. I just knew that he was really popular, but then I started watching his videos for some strange reason that I forgot, and now I'm kind of, like, hooked. And basically, this is, like, a huge controversy because, like, again, before I knew who Mr. Beast, like, his personality or anything like that, this is what I've been hearing all over the news. And it was the fact that like he was doing this experience where he locked someone inside of a grocery store and every single day he would pay them like $10,000. Um, and he, the dude has access to like unlimited foods. He literally just has to stay in there and for as long as possible. And it's like a fucking vacation. <laughs> and basically for every single day, he'll get like $10,000. So I, a lot of people, people have been talking about this like drama and I don't know like what the controversy was but the, people were just complaining you know how like internet people complain for no reason um they were complaining a lot about this I don't know why but finally he released this damn video today and today is currently December 2nd and like I just finished watching a video literally like 10 minutes ago and I really have a lot to say so here we go so basically, before I start, subscribe to my channel and drink some tea because I'm going to drink some tea as I make this video. So cheers and give me one second, beer back. Okay, I'm back. That was a really good tea. So basically, um, it starts off with him picking the dude. We don't know how we picked a dude. He just randomly picked a dude. And I have a lot to say about this dude, um, but I'm just going to quickly summarize how long this dude lasted for. So... His goal was to make $1 million because um, $10,000 every single day. I'm not sure how long that is to be uh, up to $1 million, but he ended up, spoiler alert, he ended up um, only lasting 45 days and only is like, that's a long ass time, bro. So when I say only, I don't take that lightly, but he lasted 45 days and he ended up making $450,000 at the end. And basically... Um, I don't know what the whole situation with Mr. Beast, like, what is he thinking in his head? Because he was trying to, like, portray the video as if, like, oh, it's the hardest thing ever to stay inside of a grocery store for 45 days, no contact with your family members, and, like, it's it must be so hard. I'm like, bro, that's literally, like, everybody's fucking vacation for you to access, like, a grocery store for 45 days, unlimited food, unlimited, like, supplies of drinks. You can do whatever the fuck you want. I'm not sure if he had, like, any internet. So if he didn't have any internet, that would have been boring. I get it. But literally 45 days, like, that's, that's... People go to rehab for, like, two to three years. And basically, this is, like, 20 billion times better than rehab because you're living in a grocery store you have a limited amount of food so who cares if you don't have internet like who cares if you're by yourself like actually he wasn't by himself because there was somebody like filming him so um it wasn't like he was completely alone i think that i don't know man i feel like this has just been staged i don't like i don't know like i feel i love mr beast don't get me wrong but the thing that irks me about this video and i'm not being a hater i'm just being realistic is that he should have picked a better applicant, like a can contestant for this job because this guy was like the typical like straight cisgender white male and he had like a wife and like two kids. It's like, bro, we've heard this like a zillion times, like straight white males have it so easy in life. Why don't you like pick someone who has a hard on life and see how long they can survive for instead of someone so easily? Because like this guy, like um, he was getting depressed, like 
halfway through and then like Jimmy brought um his like wife and his two young boys into the grocery store and like that gave him motivation to continue but it's like there's so many deserving people rather than this cisgender straight white male who has it so easy in life you know like why don't you pick like a gay contestant who like has like anxiety because he's been bullied or she's been bullied or something like that like and see how long they last for or why don't you give like a person of color who's like gay or something like that or like a transgender you know someone who has it hard in life you know not some fucking white straight married guy with two kids who already has easy in life like it just pisses me off because it's like there's so much more deserving people that deserve that type of um privilege of being in a grocery store for 45 days like that just pissed me off you know so um other than that like basically like i said he spent 45 days there he ended up making making four hundred fifty thousand dollars a day there's an incident where he like made like the huge pool and then he like accidentally like fucking um i don't know how he did this but fucking how do you do this like he made like this huge pool inside of the fucking it was a safe way but <laughs> mr beast called it his own story he put like his own logo but it was clearly used to be a safe way and um he ended up like fracturing the pool and all the water was all over the store and then it would like almost ruined like the money and that was like crazy but other than that like it's like i don't know like i'm just making this video because i want to see what other people have to say about it because like this has been in the news for the past year like everybody has been talking about oh my god jimmy locked someone inside of a grocery store like everybody has been talking about it so finally 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 i'm able to make a mr beast video and see what other people's point of view is and other than that like i have nothing else to say like i love chris i like uh carl i like uh, the other guy i'm not sure his name but he's cool as well you know just seeing Chris just makes me so happy because he's transgender and like he he reminds me of Trevi Moran and I love Trevi Moran who's like that really successful X Factor contestant dude and he's transgender as well and dude it's just I don't know I think that if I want to like continue supporting Mr. Beast he has to put Chris more in his videos because it's you have to represent the lgbt bro like i'm all about the lgbt i want chris to have more attention time and if you are lgbt you totally understand where i'm coming from so that's it like there's nothing else to say so you know he i was surprised that he didn't end up gaining like fucking 50 pounds because if that was me bro i'd be eating like literally fucking the fucking frozen food like heated up because he had like i'm sure he had like actually i think he did did he have a stove or something like that? Because I know that he made he didn't have a shower, so he had to make his own shower. But I'm pretty sure, like, there's other foods in there. Like, the rotisserie chicken. Like, bitch, I would have eaten that, like, every single fucking day. I would have eaten the steak. Like, the fucking $100 steak that you... You know how, like, when you go to grocery stores, like, all the luxury foods that are, are like, so expensive. I would have fucking ate all of that within, like, the first week. And I would have gained, like, 50 pounds. Because it was going to get spoiled if you didn't eat it. So, might as well fucking eat all that shit and yeah speaking of spoiled like there was this thing where he had to like pick out ten thousand dollars worth of grocery items and give away for charity or for some i don't know it was weird it was i don't know you guys if you saw the video you know what i mean but like i said i would have eaten like so much like <laughs> the luxury foods me being the fucking fat ass food connoisseur that i am like i just dude i love food so yeah, I would have gained, like, fucking 50 pounds. So I don't know how that guy, like, did not end up gaining weight after that. Because, bro, like, I would have gained 50 pounds. And I would have, like, been like, yeah, it is what it is. And I just would have owned it. Like, bro, this is why, like, Mr. Beast, he needs to put, like, more LGBT in his, like, fucking vlogs. Because it's just, like, the typical, like, straight, douchey, privileged guys. You know, like, I'm not, like, a straight phobic person like i'm i'm what's the word you know like straight people are homophobic but there's a term where like gay people are home are straight phobic against straight people is it is that the word straight phobic that's not me i respect straight people it's just like i would rather have a guy or a girl like someone not like that already has it easy in life you know i would have put like a contestant who was like a transgender like person of color or something someone who has it hard in life so like and because the reward at the end would have been so much better because this guy already has it good in life. He already has two boys. He already has a wife and he already has a job and everything. It's just, bro, like, come on, give it to someone else who deserves it. Not some typical privileged white straight male who already has a family, you know, like, come on. Like, it just pisses me off. Like, 
Mr. Beast, you should know better. Like, put Chris more in your videos because he's very inspirational for the LGBT community. And that's all I got to say. So I'm just going to pause the video, drink some tea, and finish off. What else I got to say is, hold on, be right back. Okay, so basically, I'm back, and I guess I'm closing this video off. And let me think, like, anything else that I have to say. Um... There was an incident where, like, he... Like, I w did watch it from the beginning to the end, so I won't just want to prove it. Um, so there was an incident where, like, he... Jimmy didn't pay the bills for the grocery store, so... Because he rented it for, like, a month or so, so... Or two months. And then, like, you're supposed to pay the utility bills as well, so the guy had to live in the dark for, like, the last, like, five days or so, which it wasn't a big deal because he ended up like just going through the backs of the store and just opening like the back part of the door and there was light that came in so you could have just stayed there for the whole entire day you didn't have to go to the grocery store you know what i mean it wasn't like he was like completely in the dark so i don't know man like if that were me i would have lasted like probably a year like for real like i would have made like a zillion dollars because me i'm openly gay you know i have anxiety and I have it hard in life as it is being an openly gay male the way that I am. And that would have been a life changer for me. So next time, Jimmy, if you're going to do a fucking... And this, I'm not sounding bitchy. I respect Jimmy. I just like to swear a lie. I promise. Don't be a Karen. But like literally, I would have like lasted lo so much longer. And Jimmy, you should have like put a better contestant rather than the typical um, straight wh white male who already has like kids and a wife. You know, like, bro give it to someone else that's better anyways subscribe to my channel if you're interested in my personality and that being said uh i love fucking chris and i'm just looking forward to see chris in more of his videos because he really does entertain me and i do watch it for chris because if like i was bored like the whole video like i think it was like 11 or 15 minutes long i watched it a lot and i just i was bored throughout the whole thing but every time chris was there and he, the, the scene where he, chris was on the bulldozer and he was like bulldozing like these shelves just for fun that was like my fucking jam like i love seeing chris so please 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 put chris more in your videos and i would love to meet chris in real life and tell him how much he is an inspiration to the lgbt community so that being said subscribe to my channel if you believe in me and i want to be like the next mr beast i want to make a lot of videos because this dude really does inspire me so that being said love you guys so much uh take care peace out